everyone, it's Lorelai. In this devlog, I wanted to show you how I made the animation for Deirdre and how I'm going to be making the animations uh, for all of my playable characters moving forward. This is the Time Fantasy Four Direction attack sheet uh, that that Final Boss Blues has. This is on his Patreon page. I am a patron because I freaking love these assets. Uh, with this, I just increased the size by 200% because this was originally, right, this is uh, 16 and then this is for 32. Or rather, this is for 16-bit games and this is for VX Ace games or VX games. So I grabbed this. I'm pretty sure I pushed them all down to the bottom because that's where... The origin of the rest of these are is right at the bottom. And I imported it into a sprite. Uh, actually, I imported the entire thing. I put I put the template, where is it? I put the template on uh on the bottom of, of regular Deirdre. And this Deirdre is just from the character sheet here. So it's it's all the same. <laughs> and I just pasted it here and then I imported it into a sprite. So it looked like, let me just hide all this, I think. Right, so it was like this. So, oop, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Would like you guys to see, right? Uh, she's a little messed up right now, and I'll I'll tell you why. <laughs> uh, but here's the attack template, right? Uh, from from the template from the asset. What I did was really freaking cool. All I did, and it's not gonna work for all of them, uh, but it at least worked for Deirdre. Was I duplicated the sprite sheet? So, um, duplicate. I had a reference. Here's my reference. So what I would do is I would get my eyedropper tool. I would click on one color. So let's say this really light yellow. And then I would click on the equivalent color over on my reference sheet. I would right click rather. I would right click the equivalent. So the lightest of the blues in her outfit is this blue. And then I would shift R and it would change all of those colors, which was amazing. <laughs> and so then I'll click uh, the next lightest the next darkest rather and then find the equivalent over here which i think is this one this blue yeah and then let's do this orange red and pick the dark color here looks good and then this last color red for the template skin tone i'm gonna make purple because that's that's also in this character is a purple color and voila I have a recolored sprite and it looks kind of scary. <laughs> it looks terrifying, uh, but the colors of her outfit are all there except for the gold bits. So then what I had to do, that's this recolor. It's the same, it's the same thing. Uh, this recolor layer rather. Then what I had to do was add the gold, which I did pixel by pixel. It was very simple. Just get your, get your pencil tool and add some pixels. And because I knew that this animation was gonna go really, really fast, I didn't really care about making it look that good. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, then I copy and pasted the head art. And before I did also have the ears and everything, um, that's actually a good point. You can see in this reference that her ears are different. This was the first iteration of ears. And then I added a different set of ears, a, a set of ears that I like a lot better, which is here. All right. And so now I have, now I have my character and my character's, um, attack animation, which was pretty cool. I'm going to hide this reference or hide both references. Um, pretty easy to do too. Uh, I hope it's this easy for all of the sprites. <laughs> uh, luckily, I don't have to do too many attack animations, but yeah, it turned out it turned out really well, and I'm and I'm excited about it. So I replaced the bunny ears on stream. Actually, one of my viewers, Sir Purr, uh, said that they need to be floppy. If they're if they're bunny ears, they need to be floppy, and they were originally just this right a across all of the frames. So I, I uh, there we go, like this. It was just like this. Right. So I was like, all right, I'll try. I'm not an artist, you guys, but I'll try my best. <laughs> I'm not an artist, but I'll give it a go. So I basically just duplicated this layer into ears test. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and do that. Duplicate. And then I'll hide that one. I just grabbed the lasso tool and I just brought. Oh, I keep doing that. <laughs> I just grabbed the lasso tool and just brought it up and over. So it looked like a flip. And then I just use the I just use the pencil tool to fill it in. And that's all I did. So it kind of looked like it was going up and down, right? 
Uh, it took a while. It took a while to figure it out, but I think I think it ended up being a little floppy and a little cuter. <laughs> it's not perfect, but again, I'm not an artist. Uh, I'm happy with it. It's all about it's all about feeling a pride in your own self accomplishments, <laughs> and I'm I'm happy with it. So, so I think that's all I wanted to mention for this character. Once I exported the sheet from a sprite, I put it into Photoshop and then I just added the, um, do I have it open? No. Uh, but the Patreon pack also came with these daggers and a bunch of other weapons that fit the character sheet. Uh, so I put them in and then I had to manually rearrange, uh, because the grid size is much bigger. It was 128 by 128. Uh, and they're they're just so big, just in case, right? Just in case I need all this extra space. <laughs> I don't know what for, but you know, you 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 never know, you know, you never know. Uh, and then you just import it into Pixel Game Maker and set up the animation for it. Pretty simple stuff. Pretty fun, and it, it's feel good. <laughs> it's feel good. All right, I think that's it. I think that's uh, it for this episode. I uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to show you more. I'll talk to you later. Bye.